As we prepare for more storm threats, some people spent the day cleaning up from this morning. Storms KOCO's Megan Mosley joining us live from Shawnee. Megan, that area just got hit over a year ago after a large tornado, and here they are once again. Uh, Damon, that's right. And actually where I'm standing used to be a shed here, but the structure was actually torn off its foundation and blown into that field over there. The homeowners say they're just lucky the damage wasn't worse. Yeah, sound like a freight train. As heavy winds whipped through the city of Shawnee early Friday morning, neighbors described to me the terrifying moments as they waited out the storm. The branch, the windows came in, the carport's on my truck, my shed's gone, and tree damage. And not only that damage, but the couple inside the home were seconds away from a different reality. Our two cherries we sit in are right underneath that window. I would got up to get my phone. About the time I got to my phone, my wife's like, think we ought to move away from the windows. She got up, got to the kitchen, and it happened. I got out of that seat. It wasn't seconds when I turned the corner and crashed. We heard it would have came through and got the whole back of me. The two saying they're lucky the damage wasn't worse. God so said, get out of this seat. I'm talking, it was oh my so fast. Somebody was looking after us, I'll tell you that. Hey, and if you have any damage, we actually have a link for you on the As Seen On section for you to report that damage to the city of Shawnee. Reporting live in Shawnee, Megan Mosley, KOCO 5 News. And